Okay guys, let's see how we can create the local development environment for Shopify theme development. Okay, first of all, we'll need to have Shopify CLI for uh, in our local machine. Here we can see uh, we for the newer themes we'll have to install Shopify CLI, and uh, for the older themes uh, we'll have to install Shopify Theme Kit because we are working with the newer theme. Uh, we'll have to sh install Shopify CLI. Okay, uh, in the getting started, we can see two options uh, start a new theme and uh, customize an existing theme. We'll go for the second option because most of the time, when working with the uh, client stores, uh, we'll have to customize an existing theme. Okay, uh, here we can see the documentation to install the Shopify CLI uh, for all the operating systems. And uh, uh, if you're working for the client, uh, you should uh, request the collaborator uh, access with the manage theme permission uh, for the merchant store okay so after installing the shopify cli uh, we will have this shopify uh, command available in our terminal okay let's see uh, i have uh, created this uh, folder uh, for our theme and after uh, installing the Shopify CLI, we will have to download the merchant theme code uh, in our local folder. Okay, now let's see how we will pull this, uh, the code of this theme uh, into our local machine. Okay, we will use this command. And the store name uh, we can copy from here. This is the uh, from the front end, like a, a store name myshopify.com. This is the store name. Okay, let's see. Uh, go to uh, the theme folder in your local machine and uh, use this command to download the theme code. Shopify theme pool and hyphen hyphen store and then the uh, theme name, uh, store name. Okay. Uh, first of all, we will have to authenticate. Uh, let's let's press any key after authenticating after logging in uh, we can see these options uh, okay because uh, we have dawn theme debut and test theme we can see all these options uh, available uh, in our cli okay let's pull the dawn theme in our current folder okay uh, it will take some time uh, to pull all these changes and once done I'll be back okay guys now see uh, Shopify CLI has pulled all the uh, change all the theme files in our local uh, directory now let's open this directory in VS code okay uh, here we can see all the seven folders of our Shopify theme and all the files are available in our local folder so now the next step is to create a private repository a private github repository uh, for our theme so I have created uh, a repository named as my theme and uh, now let's connect this uh, github repository with our local uh, folder okay guys now i have pushed all the local changes uh, into our github repository here we can see and now let's connect this uh, github repository this is by the way this is the private github repository uh, because we don't want our competitors uh, to look into our code and uh, it should be private so now let's connect our private github repository uh, with our shopify store so let's uh, add a theme uh, with github so i have already connected my account so from here we will select the repository so first of all uh, if you want to connect a, a private github repository uh, we'll have to uh, provide the github uh, permission to shopify store so let's connect here uh, 
click here and from here we can see uh, this shop from this Shopify app uh, we'll have to provide the permission uh, for this repository okay from here we will select our my theme repository and uh, let's save and uh, now let's go to uh, store and uh, search for my theme okay now let's connect this repository and uh, connect the main branch okay now we have successfully connected our github uh, with our store and uh, let's publish this main branch uh, as our current theme okay so now whenever we commit any change uh, into the customizer so let's try so we'll see the effect a Shopify will commit those changes directly uh, from the customizer into these uh, this repository and we'll be able to track these changes uh, effectively so let's try something so in the layout we added this heading uh, okay uh, whenever we make any change from the customizer or any change from this code editor it will all reflect in this uh, uh, repository automatically and we'll be able to track these changes effectively okay let's see uh, we added these changes in the layout so let's remove these changes in the custom layout uh, we added these changes okay now let's these headings and uh, save the file okay now let's go to our github repository and uh, refresh the page okay i think it will take some time oh here we can see uh, a shopify bot has already updated a commit uh, from the this code into our repository and we can see these changes effectively right here so we can see these uh, lines were removed uh, from the code editor and here we can see the Shopify bot has already committed these changes into our repository in this way uh, we can track all these changes from the customizer or the theme uh, or the code editor of Shopify into our uh, theme repository and uh, I hope this helps in the further videos uh, we will be creating our own custom sections uh, custom templates and many more so see you there bye bye